Band's time to shine. Now check this out. I came across this tweet, and this is something I I felt, and this is something I think every man has to practice, even women as well. So this tweet goes ahead and says, work on how you react when you feel disrespected. And that stuck with me. Then below it, I retweeted it off the bat. You can see I was like, man, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? I retweeted that shit off the bat. And then below that, it's, this girl said, that's the only action you can control. Now, check this out. That last tweet that she said really, really much summed it up. Now, I'm going to be honest. The reason why I'm bringing y'all this vid is for the simple fact, bro, I've... I've I've had to encounter so many times like I'm I'm a person who hates being disrespected. I'm I hate it. Like you know, I've had to deal with disrespect with my name. Like if you've been on my channel before, you know I've talked about how like my name people made little weird ass comments about my name when I was younger, little kid. You know what I'm saying? Like all that shit even up when I was a little bit older. Um I've had to deal with disrespect in relationships, you know, dealing with people, dealing with, you know what I'm saying, dealing with some females and shit like that and I de dealt with disrespect in in the in a work environment literally yesterday. My job, bro. I'll tell y'all this quick story time. So, boom. This woman is pretty much. All right, so boom. I give the I give this family their their food, right? You know, and then this other lady calls me over. I go over there. I'm like, yes. I'm like, I'm like, yes. How can I help you? And then she like, they came in after us and they got their food already. And I was like, oh, okay, I see why that's a problem. Um, I'm gonna go back and check on you guys' order. And then I also just have to tell her, oh, just so you know, um. You know, I just bring out the food. You know what I'm saying? I'm not making it. I'm just bringing it out. You know, whatever is whatever pops up on the screen first is just what I bring out. You know, that's just what it is. It's not like I intentionally brought them food and you walked in. I didn't even, I don't know who walked in first. You know, I'm not, I'm not out here to see it. Like, I just bring the food, go back, you know, I conversate with the, you know what I'm saying, with the guests. I, I, I conversate, you know, I make them feel, I make them feel welcome. I make them feel at home. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. Like, it's not like I saw you come in first, saw them come in second. Oh, let me go get them that food. I just want to run that by her so, you know, she knows it's nothing personal. But I do understand where your frustration is and you do have a right to kind of be scratching your head at that. You know what I'm saying? I understand. And she's all like, but you can go tell them, though. But you can tell them, though, right? And then in my mind, I'm all like, I, I just said, I don't, I didn't even know you came in here first. But I was even I'd even say that I was like, yes, I'm gonna go tell them right now. I'm gonna go check on your order. I'll be right back. She already had like a little bit of attitude, but I, you know what I'm saying? I ignored it. And then she said, Can I get a refill on my coffee? And I said, I said, yeah, I'll bring that right out. I grabbed her mug and the plate. As I'm leaving, she said, Never mind. But as she said, never mind, she literally grabbed she grabbed my hand and pushed my put like my hand was yay high above the table. She says, Never mind. As she's saying never mind, but she's pushing my hand slowly back down to the table. And I'm all like, I'm looking at her like, is there a problem? Like, like I'm like, is there something? Not even say is there a problem. I say, is there something wrong? And then the man sitting across from her, I don't know if that was her son. Um, I don't know who it was. They they were they came they all came in together. He's all like, no, he's just taking the mug back to change it and then give you some more coffee. That's what they do. They don't come out. You know what I'm saying? I guess she thought I was just gonna put the same coffee in the same mug. You know, at this job, you know, you you you, you take that drink. And you and you put that one, put that glass or put that mug away, and then get a fresh one. Then give them the refill in that fresh one. I guess she wasn't aware of that, and he and she was like, oh, "Okay." And I just said, "Yes, that's exactly what I'm about to go do." But that pissed me off because you know why are you touching my hand? Why are you doing all that? You're not supposed to do that. If you want me, if you want to say never mind, say actually never mind. It's okay. Don't touch my hand. Don't do any of that. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? Had I been a different person, like I'm not the time. I'm not a high. I'm not a high head or person who's just gonna crash out. Cause you know what I'm saying? That's just not who I am. But at the same token, like, don't disrespect me. Like, don't, don't, don't test that. Had I been a different person, you might have got slapped right there. An employee might have slapped you because you did that. I'm not that type of person. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just saying you you gotta be you gotta be aware of whom you whom you're doing that to. So I walk away. And then this other the same table who I gave their food per first, they called me over again. I said, yes. They asked me some for some refills. I'm like, yeah, I got y'all. And I was like, hold on, you guys. Like, I'm I'm sorry. That like I don't know if you guys just saw that over there. That kind of pissed me off. I had to keep my composure and control myself, you know, still still maintain that level of respect, even though I was just disrespected. And she, and they was like, nah, it's okay, man. Like I saw that, you know, you and you in here running around doing your thing. Woo, 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 whoop. You doing your thing over here, bro. And before that family left, they gave me a tip. You know, so it's just you got to just keep your composure, understand you could control how you react. You can't control how somebody else, what somebody else does. You know what I'm saying? God just, you know what I'm saying? He rewards you in different ways. But at the same token, that doesn't mean that you be a pushover. 
I'm not talking about the scenario I just gave y'all. That don't mean you a pusher. That don't mean, you know what I'm saying, you let people walk over you. That's Don't get it twisted. That's not what it is, you know? And that's just the time, like, that's just a flat out example where I had to control, like, myself. And I felt very disrespected. That was disrespectful. Don't touch my hand. Don't do that. That's weird. And then even when I was younger, you know, I used to always, like, you know, dealing with females when I was younger, 16, 17, I don't know any better. You know, the the best thing that I learned as a man, bro, is to control your emotions. And then the worst thing that they try to implement in a man's head is that having emotions or being emotional is a, it is a sign of weakness. It's a sign of being soft. And it's not because I'm going to tell you this right now. Them quote unquote dudes who they say aren't soft them, them niggas be jailbirds. Them niggas be jailbirds crashing out over the female. Them niggas be banging on doors at four o'clock in the morning. They be texting the female phone, where you at? Bitch, where you at? Da -da 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 -da. Bitch, where you at? It's 4 30 in the morning. But bro, bro, it's it's little, what they say. It's the brink of dawn outside. The roosters is the roosters is is what are, and shit outside. That's what they doing at that time, but them niggas is outside. You get what I'm saying? Them is the quote unquote hard tough dudes who aren't emotional. Now, nah, them is the super emotional dudes that don't know how to control their emotions. I personally, I'm not trying to be sound arrogant or cocky. It's just confidence, and 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 I and I don't have to speak on it. The proof is there. But I look at myself as an emotionally intelligent man, someone who could flat out say what the problem is and talk to you in a, in, in a calm but direct, firm way. You're gonna feel what I'm saying. You're gonna know that I'm I, I don't like what you just did, and please do not do it again. You know what I'm saying? That's how I move. That's how I, I've learned to move like that. When I was 16, if I could turn on my, like a, my old ass iPhone I had junior year, senior year, you know what I'm saying? I could, And if I were to turn that phone on and look at the messages between me and a specific female, oh my God, I'm going I'm to throw that fucking phone at the wall. Like, why was I saying this shit, bro? Like, what is wrong with you? It's okay to be upset, but why were you letting, why, why weren't you in control of your own emotions? Why was your emotions doing the controlling you? It's like, you know, you know, it's like the black Spider-Man, you know, the symbiote. Peter couldn't control, like, the symbiote was controlling him instead of him controlling the symbiote. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like, why aren't you controlling that? Why are you letting this particular thing have you in crazy, not, not necessarily outbursts, but you texting crazy over the phone? I wasn't on some, like, oh, bitch this, bitch that, woo, woo. But you can just, if you read it, you can tell, like, he's throwing a temper tantrum over text. He's not cussing her out or nothing, but he's throwing a temper tantrum over text versus illustrating, saying a problem. Saying where you didn't like and, and and saying that I don't like that, that like that's that disrespectful. Do, like, don't do that. Had it been the other way around, you would have this fit. Da, 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 da. Just don't do that. I don't personally. I don't. I, that's not my that's not how I go. That's not my get down. I don't move like that. You know, I don't. You feel me? That's just what it is. And like I said, I think all as I think every man, I think that's the greatest thing a man can learn is to be become emotionally intelligent and learn to control his emotions. That's something I'm going to make sure to tell my son. Because, bruh, I done felt so disrespected. So disrespected, bro. But I had to tell myself, man, I'm, I, I think I'll be louder with this message if I'm just calm but firm and direct about it versus a crazy outlast outburst. Now, you know, every every one now and then everybody gets in their feelings and then they can't, and sometimes they let their feelings take control. Everybody does that. Some people do it more than others. But, that is just something I think I've excelled in. I think a lot of men need to excel in, you know, just not letting your, like you control your emotions. I'll never tell you that it's okay. It's wrong to have emotions, son. Like I'm, I'm talking to my son, I'll, like, son, it's okay to have emotions. It's okay to get, get emotional. But I want, what I want you to do though, son, is you control those emotions. Your emotions don't control you. Your emotions don't cause you to go do something that in the moment, your emotions don't cause you to say things in the moment. You're going to have times where, you where you where you do those things, but it's all about getting better. Don't stay like that. Develop yourself. Get to be an emotional, intelligent person. You get what I'm saying? That's some. That's a great message. I think every man needs to tell their son, or every man needs to learn. Cause, bro, it's a lot of we all like. You know what I'm saying? Like from what I'm seeing, it's a lot of people who just let their emotions take control. You know, it's like this person said under. She said, that's the only action you can control. You can control how you respond to disrespect. You can control that. Because me, I hate disrespect. I hate, there's certain things I look at, whether, because it's, it's certain things in relationships that I look at as disrespect, that I've experienced that, I, th that was disrespect. And I had, to con I had to look at myself like, okay, 
I don't like that you're doing this. I don't like this. I don't like that. You must think that this is okay, or this might be something that you've been able to get away with prior, but that's not something that I personally like to have in my relationship. That's not something I personally like to have in the foundation that I am or we're trying to create, we're trying to build, that we're talking about for for. For, for the future X, Y, and Z. That's not something that's going to be here. That's not something that I think that, that should be taller on either end. And you can even confirm to me if that's something that should be taller on either end. You, you, you can even, you ask questions and, and, and miss like that. Is that, you think that's cool? And if they say no, it's like, okay, so if it's not cool, why did you do it? Or why are you, why are you continuing to do it if it's not cool? Affect the, that's where the communication comes in too. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's not just it's not just going at them about what they did. And this could be for ladies, too. It's not even just going. To, it could be ladies to men, too. It's not just about going at them for what they did. But it's like you think that's cool. You think that's appropriate. Like asking real legitimate questions. If they literally say no, it's like, OK, it's not appropriate. So why did you do? Why did you think it was OK to do it? If you just flat out told me that it's not appropriate, it's not OK. Why did you do it? And would you want that done to you? Yes or no? You get what I'm saying? That's how you move, man. Like that, I had to literally, like I used to, bro. Don't I used to have to like battle with the whole, oh, because because they, they they try to tell you this when you in high school, right? Oh, he's soft because he didn't say this and do this, cussing me out because it is, man. If you don't leave that girl, that 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 miserable ass girl alone, I'm being honest. Leave that miserable ass girl alone. Or leave that miserable man alone for the ladies experiencing this. Leave him alone because I guarantee you, when you get older, they're gonna appreciate. But that by by that time they didn't already saw it out. They didn't already them. They didn't already peaked. I evolved. That's another thing I looked at. Evolve. Don't stay the same. A lot of people feel like, oh, that's just who I am. That's just who I am. No, you can evolve. That can always be in you, but you can control when it comes out. You get what I'm saying? Evolve. Become better. That's why I take it so personal sometimes when I see people I love act the same fucking way. I take it so personal because me, I'm so big on. I pray for self improvement every day. Every night. So it bothers me when I see people not trying to self-improve. That I love. That these are people I love. You get what I'm saying? It bothers me. But like I was saying though, don't ever be a person who let who feels that you're soft because you you communicate and it, like you don't always respond to disrespect by anger, by cussing somebody out, by doing this, by doing that. Don't ever let somebody tell you that you're soft because of that. Sound crazy, or you, or he, he soft. She did this to him, and he ain't even say shit. I would have did this to the bitch. Woo, woo, woo. Like I said, then the same niggas that's texting her phone that he outside at four o'clock in the morning, that he's banging on her door at four o'clock in the morning. The same niggas that's willing to crash out and go and, and them a jailbird ass dude. Damn near, bro. Damn near would, bro. It's just know it's niggas in the ground right now because of a female. I'm just being honest. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna leave it at that, but yeah, man, don't ever let anybody try to tell you because you don't because you because you're calm and direct from disrespect that oh he's soft. That's that's the narrative they try to push, man. Don't even fall for that shit, bro. Anyways, I hope y'all like this video. I had to bring y'all this vid. This is a very good topic. I had to drop this vid for y'all. You know what I'm saying? This video is dear to my heart. You can hear you can hear the emotion. You can hear the you know what I'm saying? You could just hear it like bro, like this. This is something that he 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 enjoy talking about. This is something he wants to help out and see other people grow. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. But if y'all like this vid though, man, y'all already know smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. We dropping constant bangers. We got the other side of bam dropping a video this Wednesday. So hopefully that goes. I swear, bro, if this dude, I'm not even gonna give y'all the rundown. But we got a video on there dropping Wednesday. So be ready, be ready, be ready. Appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all and I'm gone, man.